Hey boys and girls, it is Giacomo. Good Tuesday afternoon. Another video for you today. Hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day. I know I am. Just got back to the Chevrolet dealership and handed them the keys because all the idiot lights on the dashboard kept coming on. And fortunately, the owner of the place loves some Giacomo. Uh, got away with not having to pay for the repairs whatsoever. It's a minor little thing with the brake fluid, which these new modern cars, <clears throat> the new Chevrolet Equinox, Chevrolet, finding new roads. Uh, these new modern newfangled cars, a little lot to go through when it goes under the hood. So I figured let the professionals that have taken hours and hours of Chevrolet training, uh, let them handle it. Sure, but you're not in this video. Please be quiet. <laughs> hey, so despite the fact that I don't want to get Apple news because it's total one-sided liberal nonsense. I got a pop-up on my phone earlier, you may have heard the news as well, that Joe Biden, after much <clears throat> speculation, has chosen Kamala Harris to be his running mate. I, I, I could go into the fact that this woman literally slept her way into politics, I could also go into the fact that she has a horrible record as a prosecutor, and I guess under her particular watch, a lot of black people ended up in prison in California. Praise Yahweh not, not one of them, although I've had my moments, so ears truly got arrested for carrying a concealed weapon into an auto auction place accidentally. It happens, it's LA. But the title of the video is exactly what I'm about to say what it is. The Democrats are the real racists. And if not racist outright, racist apologists. Now for all this, you know, Trump is emboldening white supremacy and Trump courts white supremacy, said they're all good people. That's a bunch of BS, you know? Watch this video right here, what Ms. Harris had to say about Mr. Biden's former record. I do not believe you are a racist. And I agree with you when you commit yourself to the importance of finding common ground. Mm -hmm. But I also believe, and it's personal, and it, I was actually very, it was hurtful to hear you talk about the reputations of two United States senators who built their reputations and career on the segregation of race in this country. And it was not only that, but you also worked with them to oppose busing. Look, everything I've done in my career, I ran because of civil rights. I continue to think we have to make fundamental changes in civil rights. And those civil rights, by the way, include not just only African-Americans, but the LGBT community. But they, Vice President Biden, do you agree today, do you agree today that you were wrong to oppose busing in America then. No, Do you agree? I did not oppose busing in America. What I opposed is busing ordered by the Department of Education. That's what I opposed. Well, I there did was not a oppose. failure of, of states to, to integrate no, public schools in America. I was part of the, the second class to integrate Berkeley, the, California public schools almost two decades ago. So I guess people are allowed to, if they want to, if it fits within their particular worldview, forgive someone's past, even if the past was just a few days ago, or just a few weeks ago, or actually had the audacity to say something like, if you can't figure out whether or not I'm for you, you ain't black, as if his support of the black community means everything to my particular skin color, or Wesley Snipes, who, uh, what's that joke I just heard? Wesley Snipes is so black, he walks into a supermarket, the Colby like, Daddy! That ain't funny, yo. <laughs> you gotta love these people. They will chime on and on and on about how much Trump is a racist, and then suddenly Kamala Harris forgives Joe Biden, so she can get some power. That's exactly what this is. This is a power move. And I gotta tell you, they tried this last time when Hillary was running, and this is like their, uh, their end around. 
Because you see, you know, Joe Biden, he, he's got a few marbles left up there and they're running around hitting each other. And sometimes they miss each other and he says some really stupid stuff. So can you imagine the 25th Amendment to keep popping out after Trump? And well, let's do a little scenario, a little uh, conspiracy theory, if you will. Biden becomes incompetent. Uh, Congress throws up the 25th Amendment. He gets removed from office and impeached because he's no longer compass mentis. But bing, you've got your first black woman president. As if virtue signaling really means anything any longer. See, you folks have been running on this, running this into the ground, should I say, for a very long time. And it's ugly. It smells. It reduces people like me to my skin color. Now, I joked about Wesley Snipes earlier. He's a much better martial artist than I am. He put more time in the actual dojo than I did, whatever's. But I would bet you that Wesley Snipes has some conservative values because number one, you don't just walk into a quoon and they hand you your black sash or a dojo and they hand you your black belt. You work and you earn that thing. Something the Democratic Party has seemed to have forgotten about. Hard work, dedication, sacrifice, and then you receive the rewards of your labors doesn't work out so well. So not only are the Democrats the true racists and true racist apologists, they also are lazy enablers, okay? Never in my life am I going to vote Democratic again. That was back in 1989 when I got myself woke. You know, I was walk away, blex it before it became popular. So it's gonna be an interesting uh, couple of weeks up until uh, November 3rd when the COVID crisis ends and we can take our masks off. Yeah, I said it, whatever. If you really think that this is a good idea, yeah, whatever, you're allowed to your opinion, I guess, I don't know. But it's as clear as day who the real racists are. I'm Giacomo, I ain't, I love all of you. Shalom.